It started with a call for help. It ended with a man shot dead. Ajaz Chaudhry was schizophrenic. His daughter called the Peel Regional Police non-emergency line hoping paramedics would help her agitated dad. From all I can remember is cops after cops after cops arriving with guns just out. Like, it's one frail 62-year-old man who is in crisis. Nimra says her father feared police. He locked himself inside their apartment. The tactical unit arrived. He was stunned with a taser, shot with rubber bullets, then shot dead. The tactical team should not have been called. There was no need. Even the police officers were unnecessary. This was not a criminal. This was someone in a mental health crisis that the paramedics and social workers should know and probably do know how to deal with. Since 2000, two-thirds of people who died in encounters with police struggled with mental health issues, substance abuse, or both, according to the CBC's research. Criminologist Scott Wortley says data like this is a critical tool to hold police accountable. When we get broader statistical uh, information that are, are documenting these patterns year after year after year, it's much more uh, uh, difficult uh, uh, for uh, police officials and politicians to just turn their back and say that uh, um, you know, these allegations are unfounded. 2020 is shaping up to be the worst year in decades for the number of Canadians killed by police. Nemra Chowdhury wants to be a social worker and be part of the solution to a growing problem. The best thing I would say that me as a 19-year-old sees in the future is us growing up and taking charge and like changing the way things are.